There is one thing that engineering leaders should do that can make them a great leader, a powerful leader, but most of them do not. And in this week's engineering management lessons video, I have with me Andrew Lees. Andrew has a PhD in geotechnical engineering. He's also the global application technology manager for Tensar. And Andrew, you're going to tell us about what that one thing you should do as a leader. What is that kind of leadership lesson that you can share with our audience? I would say um, it's the listen. It's very important to listen if you're a leader, uh, particularly in engineering. So you might be having a, an engineering discussion. If you're leading that, uh, you may want to start it with some controversial statement just to get the conversation going, but let everybody speak, even the ones uh, uh, a bit more reluctant to speak, make sure you, you hear everybody's opinion and be open-minded. Um, in engineering, uh, sometimes you get uh, a certain vision of the world um, that you have, a certain way of thinking, and some people might have a, a different point of view. So you need to be open-minded uh, to those uh, different uh, points of view and um, let everybody speak, listen, just uh, and then be the last to talk uh, at the meeting. And uh, I don't know whether this comes out of the leadership book, but this is what I do is it doesn't matter if you are not able to give a decision right away. I, I like to think about things, particularly if someone gives you a different uh, co uh, concept or point of view in engineering. I see it to use a soil mechanics analogy is a bit like sedimentation. You've got all these ideas, you've got to let the particles settle through the water. It takes time, you've got to be patient and then wait for the structure to form. Because isn't that beautiful when you get that layered structure after sedimentation? That's, that's when it all comes together. So my second piece of leadership advice is don't be scared to take your time. Let these ideas settle out until the structure is formed and then it becomes clear. Great advice there from Andrew and really critical advice. We have the opportunity at EMI to do a lot of coaching and training of leaders in the world of engineering. And oftentimes when we interview their team members, we ask them what is their leader's biggest challenge? And a lot of times what they tell us is that he or she doesn't listen to me. They cut me off all the time when I talk. I can't really express my feelings or thoughts about a problem or project. That's why it's so important to listen. First of all, people will feel respected, but also to Andrew's point, people have built up these different perspectives in their career, different than you. And so if you're just going off of what you've seen and all of your experience, you're limited to some degree. If you can gain other perspectives and then add them to yours, now you may have a much more robust and well thought out solution that you can provide to your team members, your clients, and your companies overall. I hope you found this week's video helpful. Here at EMI, we put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better managers and leaders. So please subscribe to make sure that you're getting these videos so you can ramp up your career as an engineering leader. And I'll see you next week.